Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Joy of Resin. I'm your host, Raven Silence. Lovely to see you again. Um, so, now that I finally have a day off, going to do a nice long session today, get as much work done as I can. Um, so, let's see. First, I'm going to just clean off some of these new pieces and then... Uh, prep for the ones that I want to start um, and maybe decide on the next course of action I think I don't think any of these projects are real, that I'm gonna do today uh, that I have laid out already are going to take a lot of time or resin uh, so I think I would like to go ahead and get ready for starting the next projects whatever they are um again saving all my little detail pieces all right so real quick let's just clean up these these new pieces that my friends gave me in exchange for a candle making lesson trash can okay so i got my domino set Uh, I don't remember if it made it into one of the previous videos, but uh, I did get some, uh, what is it called, uh, acrylic paint uh, for cheap at Ross the other day, and, you know, I took, like, one stroke of the paintbrush and decided, uh, -uh painting is not my thing, I'm not gonna do it, but then I realized that I could possibly, potentially use that acrylic paint and, like, put it in a mold and then pour resin on top of that and then see if the two things kind of harden together so I mean like that would be useful for the chess slash checkerboard uh, for example to differentiate the different tiles without me having to try to individually pour colors in alternating tiles because I know that would drive me insane especially with how easy it would be to mess it up so I will keep the acrylic for now and give it a shot. And if once again, it is an utter failure, then uh, you know, at least I will have discovered that. Okay, nice and clean. Your turn. water for a second. Okay, got my little coaster tray. You can tell this one's a little bit, a uh, little old, a little worn out. <clears throat> oh, right. Uh, that is in there to dry out. So does this. Okay, I have a little dog collar. Uh, whenever that, uh, what's it called that I ordered? The, uh, the 
drill kit, the polishing drill. Uh, it apparently has some uh, engraving tools included, so maybe I could work on engraving little name plates for puppies and kitties. Could be fun. Could look terrible because I'm not sure how my handwriting is going to look <clears throat> when engraved into something. But, uh, you know, just another facet of this art to test out. Snakes. I'm honestly going to have to get a little badger <coughs> mold so that I can complete the set because I would never forgive myself for being part of that internet generation and not acknowledging it when I have two out of three of the pieces that I need for it. And if you don't understand what that means, then go ask your parents. All right, last but not least, we have... Oh, come back here, you. We have 10,000 of these, or in all likelihood, 24. How many pieces are on a checkers board? Eight times two, so 16. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-four pieces at a time. Does that mean I can make two full sets of? 12? How many checker pieces go on a board at a time per size? Is it 12? Can't be 24. Yeah, three rows of four, right? I'm, putting, I'm, I'm dedicating way too much brain power to this. And now it's just going to bug me. Alright, that is that.
Leave that out to dry. <clears throat> okay, all the new pieces are clean. To the best of my ability. Uh, so, what's the plan for today? Let's add another layer to this. I'm going to take notes because they help. Okay, so... Uh, memory board. Uh, so I'm going to add, I want clear over here and over here so you can see down and add those two pieces. And I want to do like the, uh, the moss green or the emerald green through here with the mica. Uh, just a thin layer, and then I will just probably continuously pour uh, clear on top of that as it grows, so that you know the stuff that I add on top will still will, will it'll stand up against the green, and you'll be able to see it as it rises. Uh, let's see. So start the baby dragon egg. So I got a couple of little stones in there. And remember, that's going to be the top. Uh, so I want those to be visible, but it's got a black dragon, so I want some black for the egg. I'm thinking like a clear black. Clear black. have my skull in progress who had a bit of a rough time when I was putting this thing in there uh, I'm just gonna do clear uh, one color or another and there what color should I do so that it's nice and visible I've got kind of a purple and pink going so far so I think I had a uh, fire opal. Or something like that was one of my dies. So yeah, I'm gonna test that out. Cause I mean, this, that necklace piece is mine and I don't want to give this one away. So yeah, fire opal will be, I'll, I'll try the fire opal. We can test out that color. And then last but not least, we have the handy candle. So I've got the, uh, the, the black mixed with the gold there. Uh, came out pretty. Um, but for the very last layer, I'm just going to do uh, just pure gold. Uh, in keeping with the theme of that video game. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Let me go ahead and get uh, get prepped on everything, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh yeah, that's the last thing. Uh, the <clears throat> okay, so uh, desk ornament, uh, light blue, and one more fish. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me. The Joy of Resin, January 16th, I think. Uh, see you guys when I'm prepped and ready.